Hi guys. <laughs> so I want to talk about dating apps and kind of review them, kind of tell you which one, which ones I like and what I think about it. So my favorite, I would say, oh I don't know, it's either Hinge or Bumble. Hinge. I like Hinge uh, because as soon as you match, you can start talking to each other. But on Bumble, it's like the woman has to start the conversation first, which I like that. I like that a lot because this way I don't get creepy guys sending me messages like POF, plenty of fish. As soon as I downloaded that app, I got so many messages, like a hundred messages right away from a lot of scary looking people. Those faces, like, you know, those evil looks and a picture in the dark, you know, those scary photos? Yes. Plenty of fish, <laughs> plenty of scary photos. That's what it should be called. Plenty of scary fish. It was scary. It really scared me and I and I felt so overwhelmed and with all these profiles just like what's happening oh no 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 no, no. I deleted that app right away um, so the good thing about Bumble is that you don't have that problem at all it's very calm it's so quiet in this app it's only the people that I swipe right on and if they like me too, they show up on the list. Just keep it simple. I know some girls, even some guys will be like, oh no, you know, you have to start creative. Like you have to send a creative message. I used to be like that. A few, few years ago, I used to be like, what? He's just sending me hi? I don't want to talk to this guy. Now I say hi with a smiley face and I say like, how's your day? simple because if i'm gonna try and write a creative message for every single guy that may be not even worth it he could be only there on the app just for you know to get what he wants scratch an itch like they say and onto the other one he doesn't deserve that i actually spend a few minutes thinking of a creative message to send him no thank you I think you're lucky that you're even getting a message from me. Then, if you actually worth more of my time, then I want to see it, you know? Then maybe I'll start being more creative. <laughs> but yeah, so I just say hi and how's today, whatever. And then I have to wait for the guy to respond. And he has like one day, I think like 24 hours to respond. If he doesn't, he disappears. We, we disappear from each other's chat. And I don't like this thing. Maybe he got busy with something, you know? And then he comes back looking at his phone like, Oh, let's see if that girl sent me. And then he sees that I disappeared and he thinks that maybe I unmatched with him or something. That's not fair. So that's the one thing that I don't like about Bumble. But other than that, I really like the fact that I have to start. The woman has to start because this way I don't get any unwanted messages. I like about Hinge is that it doesn't have that limit, that time limit. So as soon as you match with each other, you can just chat with each other. Both Bumble and Hinge has the these options where you can, you know, uh, choose the, your preferences like religion, ethnicity, age range, and distance. Uh, for me, I don't care about ethnicity. I don't care where you come from. <laughs> but religion, I do care a little bit. To use the other uh, preferences, you're gonna have to like upgrade to get access to that. Um, but they have everything, like if he drinks, if he smokes. So I like that it has all these uh, preferences that you could choose. I want to talk about the League app. Oh yes, 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 this app. <sighs> as soon as you. Uh, install this app there's this thing called concierge I don't know a guy shows up you know and he's cute and he tells you hey I am here to help you I bet that they have a woman 
for the guys. If you're a girl, they probably give you this guy. Do, do they? If you're a guy and you use the league app, tell me. Is there a female concierge? 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 This guy is supposed to help you with the app. But, and, and he's like, oh, I'm real, believe me. He's not real, it's just an automatic thing. Oh, <laughs> what a liar. Don't lie to us. Right from the beginning, you lie to me? I don't like when they lie to people. Just, just be honest about it. Yes, it's an automatic thing. It just doesn't make you trust the app. You want people to trust your products, don't you? So don't lie to them. I had to wait like two months for them to to let me um, use the app like on the wait list so they keep you waiting and as if they're looking at the people and making sure that they picking really good really good people for the app no I think they're just looking for maybe maybe good looking people I don't know because yeah I have the people that they showing me every day, they show you like three guys, I think, every day. And they're showing me the really cute ones. But sometimes, uh, I saw somebody that I went on a few dates before. And that guy was uh, kind of abusive. And I know that if I didn't end things uh, very quickly, it would have got even worse, I'm sure. Um... So, this guy, he used to yell a lot. He used to get angry about everything and anything. He had an anger issue. Um, and he knew it. He knew. And then I see him on this app and I'm like, are you kidding me? They tell you that, oh my god, we keep you on the wait list because we want to make sure that you're a good person. That is, you know, no. You, they put this guy on this app and, and I saw him I was like no way then there were other guys that I found on the app that I talked to them and I asked, I asked them about their intentions and what they were looking for in this app and I found out that they were not really looking for anything serious this app is supposed to be for people who are serious why did I wait two months to get into this app. Every time I log in it says potential soulmates, but then I find out that some of these guys aren't really serious. They tell you like, if you don't wanna be on the wait list, then you can just pay this amount of money and it's so much money. I don't know how much I have to check. I'm glad that I didn't pay that much money to upgrade. Um, I don't use Tinder because almost every guy on there is looking for just to hook up it's very very rare that i find anybody there who's looking for something serious very rare so i deleted that app right away but even on hinge you find some guys that are not looking for anything serious even on the league app where you have to wait for to be those people to be picked just letting you know girls you have to pay attention just because you're on an app that says that that it's a serious app, it doesn't mean that the people on there are all of them are serious. Not all of them are serious, okay? Um, so and I just found out that there is dating on Facebook. I had no idea. And you can just go on Facebook and it will show you that there is a dating, you can set up a dating profile. I would really rather be like shown friends of friends and friends of friends and friends of friends than random people because I feel like they'll be cool, you know, just like my friends, just like me, I'm cool, my friends are cool, the friends that, and their friends must be cool, <laughs> but unfortunately they don't show many profiles that are friends of friends. Sometimes, once in a while they show you like, this is a friend of your friend. Uh, but it's very rare most of the profiles that they show me are just scary kind of like the guys that are on POF um, but you know it's still an app to try maybe you know I, you never know maybe you find love in a hopeless place <laughs> 
maybe you find love in the scariest places, in the weirdest places you never know. <laughs> and that's all. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and the bell button. And I have a Patreon account. <laughs> If you would like to support me, the link is in the description. I love you. Bye.